Hello beautiful beings. In the last video of this uh, series, an introduction with self-mastery. Number one thing, probably one of the number one things I get asked is what am I here for? We're here to experience, to glean knowledge, to love, to grow. And that happens through the earth human experience, but there's many different things we're all here to do. We're all sort of, let's say, having a cause and effect on each other. Being part of this uh, illusion of being separate from each other, really, we're all cogs in the same wheel. And it's very simple. Passion is purpose and purpose is passion. It doesn't mean you're just here for one thing. It means that assessing and looking at your life and what you are intuitively drawn to do. And when you look at this and, you, and it is a passion of yours, it can be anything. So I don't want to put a label on it, but we'll just put the label of it's a passion of yours. There's a form of service to others involved with it. And it doesn't mean that's all you're here for or that's all you're going to be doing, living out the rest of your life doing. We go in cycles, evolutionary cycles. And we could say you might be doing something for three, four years and then you go and do something for 10 years and then go to something for a year or two. And if you're using the heart as your compass, as your moral compass, as your guidance compass, not what your spirit guides say, not what, you know, this or that told me, but rather using them things as external validation, which is really what they are when you're looking for guidance on these things. And what I mean by this is if you follow your heart, your true heart's calling, everything gets taken care of. It always does. And the thing that stops people from usually taking that step is security and fear of the unknown. Security of how am I going to be safe, how are things going to be covered. Fear of the unknown of if I make this choice, what's the outcome going to be? Or What's the ramifications of this decision? There is always the unknown. Unless we could say there's calculated risks. But if you're following your heart, what's on the other side of that period in the unknown? The uncomfortableness, the security that, you know, you could say, I'm losing my security blanket. I'm going into fear, fear of the unknown. If you're following your heart, what's waiting on the other side for you is beyond your imagination until you've experienced it. And I mean this in a blissful, in a peaceful, in a soul evolving way that you can't perceive until you experience it by stepping into the unknown. When you step into the unknown, you step into all possibility.